This is a door. And behind it are the two rooms that I spend the most of my time in when I'm at home. There's some changes I want to make this week, but before we change anything, I figured now is the perfect time for a setup tour. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the set quarters. Okay, welcome to the studio space. So this is where I write, film, and edit like 95% of my videos. Let me show you around. And kicking things off is the main area, my desk. So this is an L-shaped desk from Autonomous. It's supposed to be a standing desk, but the controller to make it go up and down, um, it was chewed up by a dog, so it doesn't work. I really do like L-shaped desks though, and that's because of this area right here. This is a perfect location for product unboxings. I could set up a C-stand here and get some top-down shots. I could even just grab my laptop and work from here if I don't wanna work over here. This is the home of my editing PC, or as I like to call it, the set editing PC. It's got a white 4080 a Z790 motherboard, i7 14700K, 32 gigabytes of RAM, and one two terabyte SSD. All of this just for editing. I think it's better than my gaming PC, but we'll get to that later. Let's take a look at what's on the desk. The keyboard is from High Ground's second Attack on Titan drop, and the mouse pad is from High Ground's Dragon Ball Z drop. Fair warning, there's going to be a lot of High Ground products here. Anyways, the coil cable is from Amazon, and the mouse is a glorious Model O ripoff, the LTC Mosh Pit. I've actually had this mouse since my last setup tour. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out after this one because it's kind of cool to see how much has changed in the last year or two. For audio, we have the Kanto YU2 speakers, and Rode sent me the Rodecaster Duo, and the NTH100 headphones, along with a white PSA1 boom arm and a Rode pod mic. For monitors, we have the Asus VG34V. This is actually a gaming monitor, and it's not really meant for editing, mainly because of its color inaccuracy. When I do color correction and color grading, I do it on the LG Dual app. This one's being held up by the monitor arm that came with it, and this one is being held up by a Vivo monitor arm. If you're a day one, you know that's the one that carried my vertical ultrawide back in my apartment. Good times. Next up, desk de kill. Decorations. There's not too many items here. A vintage flip clock, wireless charging station, and fake plants. You know how people use cause figures or Funko Pops as decorations? That's basically what these are to me. There's a lot of these scattered around both rooms. I think I should put googly eyes on them. Hold on. Like I said, there's a lot of these, so every time we see one, we're gonna add some googly eyes to them. Above the monitors are three pegboards from Ikea. The first one is holding some Bose headphones and some Beats earbuds. The second one is holding some x real glasses and a Polaroid camera. And the third one is holding the Pokemon high ground keyboard, two containers of keycaps, and the lightsaber owned by the greatest Jedi of all time, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Out of everything, this is probably my most favorite item. Everyone needs to realize that sometimes when you're working, you need a lightsaber break. I have the high ground. Master Skywalker, there are too many of them. What are we going to do? I'm 25 years old. Over here we have a storage cart for storage and another fake plant. Oh, and finally the chair is a Mavix M7. And that's pretty much it for the desk. Now let's go over to this side. This side. I didn't have a cool name for it, so we're just gonna call it this side. This side. So what we have here is a V Halls IKEA cabinet. I'm not sure if I pronounced that right, but pretty much what this holds is random camera gear, arts and crafts, and random tech stuff. Basically, keep stuff out of sight and out of mind. It's poorly organized in there. Up top we have a Capella digital clock, a fake plant, and three Kodak cameras. I really just use these as a decoration, especially when I'm doing top-down shots. Also further in the corner here, we have some C-stand attachments, tripods, and a Amaran PT4C light tube. Not the best place for me to store gear like this, but in the future, we'll have a dedicated space for it. Here we have three high ground keyboards, the Elio board, Crystal Opal board, and the Dreamcast board. 
all on top of this acrylic keyboard holder. And in this corner, a Polaroid camera, a disposable camera, a Blazwerk lamp, also from Ikea, or an orange cream scented candle, and another mini plant guy. I've been asked about these prints a few times. I got them from Etsy, and the frames are from Ikea. Now, why did I get these locations? I was born in New York, I'm Filipino, and I just like the weather in LA. To the right of the cabinet is this side table with a Halo 3 Legendary Edition Xbox 360, and all the physical Halo games that I grew up playing. If you can't tell, I'm a big Halo fan. There's also a Beacon Mix Crate, which is an audio mixer, and another mini plant guy. I told y'all they're gonna be everywhere. Oh, and below that is my brevity backpack. Next up is the shelf. This is the Ekinabin shelf from Ikea. I hope I pronounced that right. Fun fact, I got cooked on TikTok and Instagram for getting this shelf. All because my boy Lo got the same exact shelf 12 hours before I did, and he uploaded his video first. So after I uploaded mine, the comments were brutal. Y'all are ruthless. Over a shelf, you know who you are. I actually got this shelf because of Leo Keller, who is another creator, and he has a shelf where he has all of his camera equipment stored and out for display. And I wanted to do something like that. I just didn't realize how controversial this shelf specifically was gonna be. Let's take a look at what we got going on here though. The bottom shelf has two Amaran 60XS lights, a toolkit from Hodo, and a couple of storage bins. Next is my RS3 Mini. This gimbal is small and perfect for traveling. And speaking of traveling, we have a Manfrotto travel tripod. This has come in clutch anytime I need a super low angle. Then we have two Amaran PT1Cs. And also since these are magnetic, we got a third one right here. This is where the majority of my camera gear is stored. We have an a7 III, a Sony ZV-E1, an audio mixer for the FX3, Sony BCM-E10. This is a beast for a shotgun mic. It is tiny. Speaking of tiny, we have a DJI Mini Pro 3. I would really recommend this drone, especially if you travel a lot. It's just so easy to travel with. Over here, we have the Rode Wireless Go 2s, another mini Manfrotto tripod, an Insta360 camera, and one of my very first cameras, a flip camera. What do y'all know about flip cameras? If you had one of these, you're a real one. And in the back is my lens staircase. We have a 12 to 24 G Master. This is a great vlogging lens, it's super wide. The Sony 90 millimeter macro lens, I love this thing. 28 to 75 Tamron lens, great budget lens if you're needing a zoom lens. The 24 millimeter G Master lens, I like that one because it goes all the way down to 1.4. The Sigma 10 to 18 millimeter lens, that is a super wide lens and it also gives off a vignetting effect, which I really like. And then at the very end is the 18 to 55 kit lens that came with my Sony a6500, which we'll see in the next room. And above all my gear is a mix of random items. We have two broken 16 to 35 G Master lenses. If you follow me on TikTok and Instagram, you've probably seen these story times on how I broke these. This was literally this month. We got some mini aperture lights, broken ND filter, a Mavic 2, attachment for one of my lights, a Bugatti. This little keychain thing that I Justine made me. Can you guys even see that? It has my Instagram handle on it. So shout out to Justine for making this. And some chapstick, gotta stay strapped. And at the very top, we have this 3D printer. I don't know which model this is, but I do know it's from Ender. And then we have a mini plant figurine. Oh, and I forgot to mention that I have a Godox tube light. And then behind the monitors are some Gobi light bars. And to end off this room, we have a giant calendar, which is outdated because it says December 2023, and it's clearly January 2024. There's also some gear that I tend to move around a lot here in the office, one of them being my C-stand. This one is from Newer. This is the C-stand I used to get high angle shots or top down shots. I also have my lights. This one is the Amaran 300C with a light dome. And the last one is currently under my desk. It is the Amaran 200XS with a lantern attachment. So with that being said, that is the entire studio space. Now, before we move on to the gaming slash streaming room, I just wanna remind you guys that everything I just listed will be linked down below. If I missed anything though, please let me know in the comments and I'll try to fix that as fast as I can. All right, let's go. So this is the gaming slash streaming room, the ultimate procrastination area. So I come in here whenever I don't feel like making videos or I wanna stream. If you follow me on TikTok and Instagram, you've probably seen this room before, but I don't think I've ever made a YouTube video in here. So let me show you around. Starting with this handmade bench, Shout out to my dad. This is pretty much just a decorative piece for the room. I rarely ever sit on it and it kind of just holds a bunch of stuff. Over here, we have a PlayStation 1, a Wii, a high ground hat, and another one of my first few cameras from back in like middle school. On the left side, we have a Master Chief helmet and some self-improvement books. And behind me is this piece of art that me and my girlfriend Brittany made. 
Um, it looks pretty cool. I think I'll hang it up eventually, but I kind of like how it looks just sitting up on the bench. And over on the side is a fake plant. Now you're probably wondering why I have a lot of fake plants and I'm gonna be honest, I would love real ones. I just can't keep them alive. Let me show you. This is my pegboard plant wall. And as you can see, everything died except uh, the one up here. This is what it looked like when I first set it up. It was beautiful. It would probably be better in my living room because there's more natural light there. Here, it doesn't really get that much light. The only lights it gets are the growth lights above it. This plant up here is thriving probably because the growth lights are here, but I also think it just does well in low light anyway. So I'm thinking I'm gonna get a bunch of these plants and replace all the dead ones with it. We're gonna try to bring this thing back. On the bottom is a 3D printed baby Groot. This guy was supposed to keep the plants watered. I am Groot. What do you mean? I am Groot. What do you mean you didn't know you had to water plants? You were a tree. I am Groot. Whatever. Anyways, at the very bottom is the high ground bonsai keyboard. Now below the pegboards ah, is my mini fridge and this thing is absolutely stocked up with ghosts. Code said long. In this little hidden corner, there's a storage cart. It holds my printer, a bunch of mouse pads and random stuff. And this closet is just full of random junk. Eventually, I do want to turn this into an actual useful storage space. We'll get there whenever we start renovating these two rooms, but for now, it's just gonna have to stay looking like garbage. And this is my gaming setup. It is like a pack-a-punch version of what my setup used to be back in my apartment. So the desk consists of two Ikea Alex drawers and a Home Depot butcher block. I've heard a lot of people call this desk unoriginal or lazy, but it gets the job done. So I don't know what to tell you. So this is my gaming PC. Inside is a 3080 Ti, Ryzen 9 5900X, an X570 Pro, 64 gigabytes of RAM, and two two terabyte M.2s. All built inside of this bad boy, the Fractal North. And I only got this case because it matches with the slat wall right behind it. And speaking of the slat wall, all these panels were sent out by the Wood Veneer Hub, so shout out to them. What's cool about these is that they have sound dampening foam in them, so that's gonna help reduce some of the echo that happens in this room. Now the dual stack monitor are still the same monitors from my very first setup tour. The top one is the ASUS ProArt 328Q, and the bottom one is a 170 hertz 31 and a half inch Acer Predator. And can we talk about a 31 and a half inch monitor? Why would you do that? Now, like I said, these were the same monitors in my last setup tour, but this one, this one is not the same. This is the Samsung Odyssey Arc, and it's literally here just for views. Like, it gets people's attention. And in all honesty, it just holds Discord, Spotify, GoXLR, and Stream Chat. I don't think I would ever buy this monitor. I got this for free. So, like I said, this is where I stream occasionally. Let's go over my streaming equipment. On the left and the right are the dual stack, two Elgato key lights. Left side is an Elgato face cam pro, and my mainstream camera is on the right side, the Sony a6500 with a Sigma 16 millimeter 1.4 lens all being held up by my Yulanzi mount. Pretty much the same system I had in my last setup tour. My mic is an Elgato low profile boom arm with a Shure MV7. This is hooked up to my Go XLR, and next to that is my stream deck. Moving on to peripherals, still rocking the G Pro Superlight. Got a high ground summit 2.0 board and another coiled cable. When I'm not rocking the mouse and keyboard, I also have my Xbox Elite controller. The mouse pad is from Gutsy Aiden. I just realized how dirty this is. This is disgusting. Headphones are the Corsair Virtuoso Pros and the chair is the Mavix M9. For decorations, obviously got the fake plants, green and plants and wood, very common theme around here. I also got these Hunter Hunter anime light boxes. They're supposed to turn on, but I haven't replaced the battery in like months. I got these from the Lumi store. They're a small business, so definitely check them out. They got some pretty cool stuff and they seem like pretty chill people. And finally, for extra FPS, I put some RGB lights around the desk. Got a Gobi light strip right underneath, some Gobi light bars behind the dual stack, and one Gobi light rope in between the slat wall. And that's pretty much it for the desk. Over here is my shelf, not as controversial as the other one, and it just holds a variety of stuff. PR boxes, a lot of keyboards, some Lego sets, Tesla tequila and Tesla shot glasses, a mini diamond play button. So my full-time job is actually working for a YouTuber and when he hit 10 million subs, he gave a bunch of us these mini diamond play buttons. Pretty cool, but one day we'll get our own play button. So subscribe. Got some fake plants, including one of these little mini plant figurines again. But other than that, it's pretty much everything in these two rooms. Oh, uh, the rug is from Etsy. So there you have it, a full tour. Honestly, I feel incredibly blessed to not have one, but two rooms that I could dedicate to the things that I'm passionate about. None of this was overnight. If you told me three to four years ago that I would be living in my own house and have two rooms dedicated to content and gaming, I would not believe you. Also, a good amount of things were actually sent to me from brands and those brands would not know who I am without you guys. So thank you to everyone who has supported my content for the past few years. I really would not be here without you. 
We're gonna be making some changes to these rooms in some upcoming videos, so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss that. All right, with that being said, Groot, final words. <laughs> What's on a feed?